Hello friends, welcome back to lmsdaily.com. In today's screencast, I will show you how you can suspend multiple users on your Moodle site via CSV file upload method. By suspending a user, you can temporarily disable their access to your Moodle courses so that if in future they would like to come back or return back to your Moodle site, you can enable their account and retrieve their grades in different courses so that they can continue their progress from the same state where they left your Moodle site. So now let us see how you can suspend the different users on your Moodle site. First I will show you how you can uh, suspend a single or very few users in a single course and then later on we will see uh, how you can use the second method via CSV file to suspend multiple users via CSV file in bulk. So first let me go to a course here. As you can see now I am logged into my Moodle site as admin. So I will have all the capabilities. So I will just show you by going to a course here. And when you are there on the course page all you need to do is go to this participants tab here. And here besides the user name you will see a gear icon for most of the users so just click on this gear icon here and then under this status tab you can choose this from active to suspended and click this save changes button here so now this will suspend this teacher one from this user and you can see that the status is updated here so this is one method when you can suspend few users on your Moodle, in your Moodle course. So now we will see the second method of suspending multiple users in bulk via CSV file. So for that thing you need to go to this site admin page. And under the users tab you need to go to this bulk users actions. Basically suspending multiple users via CSV file is a two step process. In the first step we will create the CSV file of different users, filter out the users first and then download them as a CSV file and in the second step we will modify the CSV file and then upload it back into the Moodle to update the status of all the users. So now for the first step you need to go to this accounts and then bulk users actions page here. There are two different ways to select the users on your Moodle site. The first one is by manually selecting the users under this users in list section. So here you will see that there are total five users on my Moodle site as of now and here I need to select uh, the different users whom I would like to suspend. So let me say that I would like to suspend this and by pressing the control key you can select multiple users on your Moodle site and then click this add to selection. So this will add all the four users on the right side which are showing as all selected four out of five. Now after selecting the students manually here on the right side you need to go to this with selected users and expand the drop down and choose this download option and click the go button. Now you will see this export users as and there is a drop down with different file formats so I will leave it to as the CSV file only because this is the preferred format on what I would like to use and click download. Now it will download a file on your computer as you can see here. Now the second method of filtering out your users is again going back to this bulk users actions page. I will just repeat this same process again with the different methods. So I will go to the users back and go to the bulk users actions page again. And here you see that there is a filter section on the top. So if I would like to first I will remove everything here. 
and then uh, under this filter section you can see that if i will click on this show more button then there are different options expanded so i can filter out the different users based on different values here so let me say that if the user full name is including the value student contains <clears throat> then those will be added so this is a much faster way of filtering out the students and then click on this add filter so as of now i have selected only one filter for my criteria and here you can see that uh, with this student filter there are all three students on my moodle site and here uh, you need to just click control on your keyboard and select all the student or you can just simply click this all filtered and then click add to selection So this way you can easily select all the users filtered out based on these different filters and then again repeat the same process of downloading this file as a csv format so i will not download this file again uh, for this demonstration now i will move on to the second step where you need to modify the csv file and then upload it back into moodle So as you can see now this is the CSV file which I have downloaded from my Moodle site and it includes three students and one teacher account on my Moodle site and for this demo I will show you how I will suspend all three students and I will leave this teacher as it is without any change. So what you need to do is just go to the extreme right side of this CSV file and add a new column named as suspended. Kindly note that you need to mention this in lowercase letters only and without any spacing on each side. And then for each student which you would like to suspend, enter 1 as the value in this column. For the teacher, I will put 0 here. And then just click save for this CSV file. You can also save this as a new file name so that you can easily distinguish between the file which you have downloaded from Moodle and which is now modified. So as of now, I have saved this as a CSV file on my computer. And now I will show you how you can upload it back in Moodle to suspend these three users. So now after modifying the CSV file, I have returned back to my Moodle site and I will again go back to the site admin users and then I need to select the upload users. So you can see this upload users tab here and I will click on this one. And here you need to drop your CSV file. You can also upload it by going to this choose a file. But for this demo, I will just uh, drag it from my computer and drop it in this area. And I will leave these all settings as it is and click on this upload users. Now comes the most important part of this whole exercise. Uh, you can see that this is a preview of all the users and in this suspended column you can see that the value is one for all the first three users named as a student now you need to make sure that under this settings section you are expanding this upload type and modifying modify it to update existing users only and secondly you need to make sure that this allow suspending and activating of accounts is set to yes if this is set to yes then only it will take any action based on this suspended column on this file once you have set these two things then just click on this upload users button and you can see that under this suspended account the action is from no to yes for these three users and for the last user it has been set to no so it is still not suspended and then you can see that the three users have been updated and there are no errors in the whole process so it means that all three users have been suspended on your Moodle site 
now you can just click continue to proceed ahead and this is how you can simply suspend multiple users in bulk via csv file on your moodle site thank you very much for watching this video if you have liked this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel if you have faced any problems while following this screencast please put them in the comments section below and i will be happy to respond you back thank you very much for watching this video